Joining us right now is the Moderna CEO, Stefan Bansell. Stefan, you have had a lot of announcements on cancer, but this seems like a pretty big one. The idea that it reduced death, reduced recurrence, and this was a study that was done on very high-risk patients that were already at uh, stage three and four of melanoma following through with this. Um, tell us a little bit about those results, what it means. Yeah, good morning, Becky. Well, it's a, it's a big day for patients, and we're so excited. If you remember last year, for the same study, we described the two-year data, and it was 44% recurrence-free survival, which was already huge. We just used Ketidra. Ketidra is one of the best drugs available for patients today. And now at a three-year mark in the same study, we're showing almost 50%, meaning the two curves are differentiating further as time goes by. And that's really exciting because not only we think it will have a huge impact on melanoma, it's one in two people. Think about the number of lives that can be impacted, number of people that can be saved and live a normal life despite a diagnostic of cancer. And as you say, there are also late stage, stage three and stage four. In a phase three study, we're now looking also at stage two. And we believe that the earlier you go in disease, the stronger the immune system of a patient is, meaning our individualized treatment should work even much better. And, and let's talk about that. The mRNA shot, you know, we call it a cancer vaccine. I, I, I don't know if that's exactly what it is, but the mRNA shot in combination with Keytruda does what? How does, it, how does it come up with these better results? So basically what we do is we individualize a product that we make for every different human being. What we know today is that cancer is a disease of DNA. And so what we do, we start by a biopsy, we take a little sample of the cancer and we look at all the letters in the DNA of a cancer cell. We compare that to the DNA of the same patient of a healthy cell. We send both to the AWS or Amazon and we compare base by base, letter by letter, where are we in terms of a mutation, where are they? And then that information comes back to Moderna's factory and we make a product just for your cancer or just for my cancer teaching our immune system what it missed. And that's why it's such a profound and lasting impact, which is why I cannot wait to see even the four-year or five-year data, because the Moderna curve, if you look at it, it's flattening. People are not dying anymore. It's really remarkable. Why? I mean, how, that, that seems like the type of thing you want to get on market as quickly as possible, particularly if you're somebody who has just been diagnosed with melanoma. I know there were 325,000 cases that were diagnosed in, in 2020 around the world. Um, how much longer will it take to get this to market? What time frame are we looking at? So if you look at the typical time frame of waiting for the phase three, which is ongoing, you're talking a 28 time frame. What we are having is discussions in the coming months with regulators around the world to figure out together, is there an accelerated potential path for approval? We believe that some countries could launch as early as 25, we share that into our R&D day, and of course, it would be depending on the decision by every regulator. But if you think at the profile of the benefit, as we said, one in two people uh, survival, this is a big deal. If you look at the safety, which is always the trade-off you have to look at, the safety is very similar to Ketidra alone. So it's a good safety profile. So the risk-reward is there. The phase three is already ongoing. It's recruiting very quickly. The regulators are going to want to make sure that we are recruiting the phase three as fast as we can to get the data to confirm the phase two. And then there's manufacturing. We bought a new plant in Massachusetts earlier this year. Our team is working really hard. It's the same team that did the COVID scale-up. And as you know, they were very successful in scaling this up during the pandemic. And so we could be ready as early as 25. But again, it will depend on the discussion with each regulators around the world, not only in the US, but we will be talking to people in Europe and people in Asia as well. Stefan, we're looking on screen at a chart of Moderna shares since the pandemic began back in March of 2020, up 287 percent over that period of time, up more than 10 percent today on this news. But if you're looking at the stock year to date, I think it's down by about 50 or 60 percent. I don't know if we can check this out just based on where the stock is up today. You have the same issue, yeah, about 51 percent. You have the same issue that Pfizer has just in people thinking, OK, this is a, a COVID vaccine company, and there's not nearly as much demand for COVID vaccines now that we're not at the same panic point that we were. 
what do you say to investors just in terms of what you have in the pipeline, what the potential is for this? Sure. I think the two companies are in quite different situations. Number one, we are gaining market share in COVID. So that's, of course, good for sales growth. We are launching RSV in 24. Uh, so that's going to be also great for sales growth because we have no sales of RSV in 23. And we have seven phase three products in the pipeline. This is a big platform company. This is an information-based mRNA molecule platform company. The pace at which we are moving is remarkable. If you look at RSV, between the start of phase one and phase three data, it took us 24 months. This is around three times faster than the typical vaccine development in the clinic by the rest of industry using analog like older technologies. And so the pipeline is there. There's going to be a lot of clinical readout in 2024 across many products. And we are very focused on the sales. We announced a commercial reorganization on Tuesday, where basically I'm going to be directly working with the different regions of the world, including directly having the U.S. team reporting to me. And we'll be extremely obsessed about execution of sales for COVID, continue to gain market share, increase the market, RSV, and, and all the products are coming. So it's going to be really exciting couple of years.